Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Coop. I'm here in Queensland, Australia on a really hot sunny day. So much better than seeing the rain. So I'm here to um, yeah, have a, a nice paint session. I'm doing it um, today's piece on a 8 by 12 canvas. I'm just trying it on the smaller canvas. I have got two so I'm going to see how they turn out. I have done them before, the chain pulls, but I'm going to try and um, yeah, just mix it up a bit, just try and do something a little bit different by splitting my canvas. Anyway, I'll just, I'll just see how I go. I might split the canvas with two colours, so do a split canvas pour. So I'll pour the white on one side and I think I'm going to go the uh, purple on the other. Fucking, it's stuck in the container. Oh my goodness. I'm going the lovely purple. So I'm going to see which one kind of stands out the most, I guess. So it'll give me an idea for a bigger piece I want to do. I'm going to just use this sponge brush to coat my canvas. So this is Global Acrylic Global Impasto Acrylic Paint. So I'll just coat my canvas with that, nice and easy with the sponge brushes. I'm keeping my paint on the thicker side, so it's actually a little bit, feels a little bit sticky. So I'm hoping that my chain pulls will come out a little bit different uh, well a little bit better actually because I found that when I do chain pulls on very um, with very thin paint they sort of lose their lovely um, effect the effect sort of goes away pretty quick so I'm not worried about bringing some of the white over that's absolutely fine just just want to coat it probably could do with a couple of coats because the canvas is showing through but that's all right for this particular experiment let's see how we go just pop them in there rightio I've got some water ready to dip my uh, what do you call them chain ball chain ball oh, I can't think of the name but you know what I mean so I'll, I'll dip it in there and then I've got a clean cloth here to wipe it off with so we'll just muddle along and I'm going to start the first chain I'll start it with this I'm going to put this one in gold so I'll just So I've got my metallic gold here. Let's take the stirrer out so it doesn't, and I'm just gonna feed that, feed my chain into the gold. Uh, let it go down. I actually like to um, just scrape a bit of the paint off as I'm bringing it out because it can end up a little bit too much. Let's see what the gold looks like in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'll just wipe it off on the um, on my cloth as I go along. So if I keep dipping it into, I'll end up with all the purple in my gold. Lovely, lovely. You can be dipping it into your water. I usually save the water for when I'm changing colours. But um, keeping your chain clean in between each dip is, is a good idea. So, like I said, it seems to work a little bit better when your paint's on the thicker side.
pretty. It's actually nice that it's got a bit of the purple in that one. It's picked up a bit of the purple from the other side, which is quite nice. So it's the purple and gold. So it's kind of doing like classic colors on it. Just take your time, enjoy the process, like I tell you all the time. Just continue with the gold on the white side as well. Definitely, I think if your paint is thicker, it works far better when you're doing this. So, I mean, I could probably definitely get away with it even thicker than I have it now. Sort of any pattern you like, really, and just gently pull through. I might oops, switch colours now. Try and do maybe some of the purple on the white. So I will bring my purple to um, put my chain into. I'm not too worried if I've collected a bit of the white on the chain and the um, gold, because it should just. lovely effect does that give? That's beautiful. I might clean my chain so I'm just dropping it into that cup of water. Uh, I've got some more little bits of chain here so I might just try some smaller chain pulls. It's really pretty, really pretty. They're just nice sort of minimalistic classic colours together and just creates a lovely effect. So I'm going to go through that gold one again. to I've dipped it in the cool red I'm going to go back through this area here it's kind of doing it um, three-dimensional on top of each other and around you can just do whatever you choose but these when they're fully dry and you coat them with some um, either gloss varnish or resin with a bit of um, gloss luster in your coating they just come up beautifully shiny and attractive sparkling okay i think that's very effective very effective and easy process and of course I can um, just add some little embellishments in there, just um, the blue, just along the bottom with the canvas, and pick up some of the colour from from my from my balloon and just put it in 
wherever you choose. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. That one's quite nice. I really want to leave that. That's a bit weird shape. I like to pick up a bit of the white and just press it in here. Kiss it. Kiss it. Kiss it. That is a really sweet little piece of art. So have a go of it. It's really you know quite easy and therapeutic and it's a lovely little piece to give as a gift um, you can do as much as little or as little as you like but it's loads of fun so please enjoy i hope you um join me again tomorrow i will be here and i'll put some photos on at the end of the final result so have fun do something that gives you joy bye for now mm -hmm.